my first video. <laughs> My name is Ash. Um, this video is a, it's an interview question, a very popular question for internships or for full-time jobs. I've actually given this, I've actually given answers to this particular question twice in two different interviews for big companies, and uh, it's a pretty common one. So I thought I'll start off with this. Today's question that we're going to tackle is about a symmetric tree. So what is the question really asking us? The question is asking us to check if a binary tree is symmetric we have to really understand what is symmetry to be able to answer this question let me try to explain to you what it really means for an object to be symmetric once you guys understand that it's very easy to go about this problem an object is considered to be symmetric if you split that object dead in the center and you fold the left side of that split object onto the right and it perfectly overlaps on each other that means the object is symmetric so for example, if I was, so for an example, let's take my hand. If I was to split my hand at my thumb, right? Which is the middle. And I fold my left side onto my right. It perfect, it lays over my right hand pretty nicely. This means that for an example, this would be symmetric, right? Let's take the same concept that I just spoke about and apply it to the three examples that I've drawn. These three examples don't look uh, filled up. They look empty because I don't have any values on those nodes. So let's change that. I want you guys to pay close attention to the steps I follow while I solve each of these problems or examples because when we go ahead in the next few minutes and actually get to the coding uh, on our console, these are the exact same steps we will think about while we code up our solution, right? So for example number one, the first thing you do is you take, you take a mental note of the entire tree that's given to you. In this case, we are only given a root node. That's all we're given. So you take a mental note of that tree. That's step one. Step number two is to check if the root node has a left subtree or a left child or a right subtree or a right child. It has none. So this is the only node that you're looking at. And if you only have one node, it's symmetric either way. Okay, so let's go ahead and do question number two. So step number one is I take a mental note of the tree itself. And in this case, two is our root node for this tree. The root node has a left child of three and it has a right child of three as well. Step number two is the process where we check whether it's symmetric or not. And how I do this is I draw a line through the middle of that tree. Now you're gonna ask me what is the middle of that tree? The middle is the root node itself. So go ahead and draw a line through your root node, right? Once you draw that line through the middle, you take the left child of that root node and you fold it onto the right child of that root node. So when you fold the left side onto the right side if they fold and match then they are considered to be symmetric in this case if i were to fold it the structures match the left node will go and sit on the right node perfectly but you also have to make sure that the values on the overlapping nodes also match they also have to match so in this case the value three will match. However, if I had this situation and I take my left side and fold it onto my right side of the root node, structurally, the left node will go and sit on top of the right node. However, the three and the fours do not match. So they're not equivalent 
by value. They might be structurally equivalent, but they're not equivalent by value. So that actually tells us that this tree is not symmetrical. Example number three. So step number one is take a mental note of the tree itself. In this case, we have a root node, which is four. That root node has a left child of five. The five has the left child of six, which is a leaf node, and a right child of eight, which is also a leaf node. The root node four also has a right child of five. And the, the right child five also has a left child eight, and it has a right child six. Step number two is to actually check for symmetry. And how we're gonna do that is the, is, is the same as we did for example number two. We would draw a line through the middle of that particular tree. And the middle is at the root node. So go ahead and draw the line at the middle. Once you draw that line through the middle of the root node, we fold the left subtree onto the right subtree. What happens when you fold the left subtree onto the right subtree is the left child of the left subtree, which is six, will go and overlap on the right child of the right subtree. And the right child of the left subtree will overlap on the left child of the right subtree. Now let's go on upwards and we'll see that when we, when we take our left subtree and fold it onto our right subtree, the five on the left subtree will go and sit on the five on the right subtree, which is also good. So this tree How's it going everybody? So let's get on with the actual coding part of this video. Uh, the question states, given a binary tree, check whether it is a mirror of itself that is symmetric around the center. We take the center node, which is our root node, and then we would draw a line in, in the middle of it, and that would give, leave us with a left and a right subtree. If we were to fold the left and right subtrees onto each other, they have to match structurally and they have to also be equivalent by value. And in these kind of questions, it's always very important to take under consideration the edge cases. And I always go ahead and ask my interviewer about it. A very common edge case in situations like this is that the root node could be null, which means that we would not have a tree at all. So it's, if that is the case, if there could be a situation like that, we need to account for it. So let's go ahead and do that. If the root node is null, we don't have a tree itself, right? So there is nothing to actually make it asymmetric. So it has to be symmetric, right? If the root node is not equal to null, that means that we have a situation where we could have, uh, we do have a right, left and a right node for that particular root. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna call, we're gonna use a function called check symmetric, which checks for symmetry, and we're gonna pass the left and the right node of that particular root node. So this, the check symmetric function is the recursive function that we're gonna use. We don't have the check symmetric function currently, so let's go ahead and define that function as well. We're gonna pass the left and the right node. This is where you're going to check for symmetry. The two cases that would make a tree symmetric, two things that we check. The first thing that we check for was that, was it structurally equivalent? If they're structurally equivalent, then we've already passed the first thing. The second thing we look for is that they have to be equivalent by value as well. If both of those conditions are met, they are the left and the right side are structurally equivalent and equivalent by value, then they're symmetric. But if any of these conditions are broken or both those conditions are not true, then they're asymmetric. So let's go ahead and check for the structural similarities first. Uh, the first case that we will actually think about is the, the fact that both the left and the right subtree or node is completely empty. There's nothing there that's just null. So if it's null, that means that if both of them are null, that means that they have to be structurally similar. 
the second thing we're going to uh, check for with regards to structure is if the fact that the left node is empty or null and the right node is not null or vice versa if the left node has a value and the right node is null if that is the case we break the structural sim equivalence So now we've taken care of the structural aspect of things. Let's go ahead and look at the let's go ahead and look at the equivalence in value. So if the only thing we need to check for here is if the values are not equivalent, then we break the uh, symmetric symmetric rule again. So we need to check for that as well. Now we have our base cases ready. Once we have our base cases ready, we have to actually go ahead and make a recursive call to this recursive function and make it recursive. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that as well. When we make this recursive call, we're checking for two different things. That the left subtree has its own left and right child, and the right subtree has its own left and right child. When you fold those two subtrees onto each other, which nodes are we comparing? In the first case, we're going to we're going to understand that the left subtree's left child is going to be compared to the right subtree's right child. So let's go ahead and compare those two nodes first. So we're going to take the left subtree's left child and compare it to the right subtree's right child. For the next situation, the left subtree's right child is going to be compared to the right subtree's left child because when they fold over each other those are also the nodes that overlap so the recursive function is going to go build up in the stack and have its arguments and then the answers are going to bubble up and that's going to give you the final answer of whether this tree is going to be symmetric or asymmetric and there we have it